Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use vendor library components in advanced design system and explore how to create schematics and layout using these vendor libraries. Up until now, we've been using ideal components to create our schematics. For instance, we go to the lumped components palette and place components into our schematics. But can we generate a layout directly from these schematics? Let's check. Go to the layout option in the top toolbar menu and click on generate update layout. This will create a layout, but you might notice that there are no footprints for these components. This is because the ideal components we used don't have associated physical footprints. To address this, we'll need to use different vendor libraries that provide the necessary footprints. Let's learn how to import vendor libraries into ADS. Let's go back to ADS main window and click on Design Kit option, select the Unzip option. Then, choose the vendor library file you want to unzip. For this example, I choose the Murata capacitor library. Next, select the folder where you unzip the library. This will unzip the library. Once completed, it will ask either you want to include it to your current workspace. I choose, yes. Now that the vendor library is unzipped, let's go back to schematic. You can view your installed library from here. You see Murata components are showing in the list. You can notice that three palettes are added in the list. Let's check what is included in these palettes. In the first palette, there is a Murata setup controller. Let's place this setup controller in the schematic. The purpose of this controller is to include the associated S parameters data to simulate the behavior of these capacitors. And this Murata setup controller is essential to run simulation. In the second palette, there are various capacitors of different part numbers and footprints are available. You can choose any of these capacitor according to your requirement. For example, I will choose GCM 15 series capacitors. This is the ceramic capacitor of 0402 SMD package. Replace all ideal capacitors with these Murata capacitors. Now, Double click on the capacitor to select its part number. You can see its footprint is 0402. And no part number is selected at this time. You can also change the name of this capacitor. From here you can select its part number. You can see, following parameters are given in part number, temperature ratting, voltage rating, value, tolerance, and frequency range. I need a capacitor of value 150 picofarad. So, scroll to find the desired value. Four options are available. I choose the capacitor with 1% tolerance value. You can see, capacitor dimensions, and layout footprint properties like land length, land width, and land space, bond layer are mentioned here. Now using the same method select the part number of second capacitor, which is also 150 picofarad in this case. Similarly, set the part number of third capacitor which is 470 picofarad. Now, again go back to ADS main window and unzip the inductor library. Click on design kit option, select the unzip option. Select the Murata inductor library. Next, select the folder where you unzip the library. Now that the vendor library is unzipped, let's go back to schematic. Place the Murata controller for inductor library. And pick an inductor of 0402 package. Replace this inductor with ideal inductor. Select the desired part number. I will choose the inductor of 6.8 nano Henry. Now, simulate to check the response. I have plotted two parameters S11 and S21. Go back to the layout menu and click 
Generate, Update Layout. This time, you should see the footprints appear in the layout. As you can see, the layout now includes the correct footprints for each component. This ensures that our PCB layout will be accurate. Next step in to make a micro strip line. This will be discussed in the next video, where first we will define a substrate, and then we will find the optimized thickness of strip line using line calculation tool. So this is all from today tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on advanced design system. See you next time.